Nice. Welcome back, everyone. So, um, quick review. This is an expression. This is a constant. Those letters are variables. There are three terms in this expression. Two of those terms, which contain variables, have coefficients. They're the letter, the numbers in front of the letters. In this case, the coefficient is a positive one. In this case, it's a positive two. What does a coefficient mean? It means you multiply the coefficient by whatever the variable is going to be to get the actual term. Okay. And that was it. So today we're going to have a look at how we actually use these to solve the problems. Okay. So um, we're going to look at an idea called like terms. So the idea of like terms is fundamental to algebra. It's what makes algebra work so well. So for example, 2x and 3x are like terms. Well, why are they like terms? Because the variable is an x. OK, that's important. OK. Similarly, 3p and 7p are like terms, OK? 3p and 3q are not like terms. p and q are not the same, OK? p represents something totally different than q. There are different letters in the alphabet, hence they're different, OK? Now, where it can get difficult for students is as follows. 2x and minus 3x are like terms. Why? Because while one is positive and one is negative, the variables are the same. They're both x's. You get me? And the other thing that will cause massive amount of problem, not so much for you now, but in the future, but I will show it to you now. Okay? 3x and 3x squared. And I think yourself, oh, they are not like terms. That's an x, that's an x squared. Even the sound of it as you say it, watch, x. So think of your mouth saying x. I would think of it saying x squared. Your mouth had to do two things to say this. It only has one thing to say this. So if I say, look, watch here, top one, x, x, p, 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 q. See, they're not the same. P, q. Okay, x, 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 x squared. Not the same. So we want like terms. So the easiest way to understand like terms is say it. If the variable sounds the same in both terms, they're like terms. It's as simple as that. Okay. So what does this mean? Well, it means with like terms, you can add and subtract them. And I'll show you. Okay. So have a look over here. 3x plus 2x equals what? So if we're using like terms, all I have to do is add the coefficients. That's all I have to do. 3 plus 2 is 5. And then just keep the variable because they're like terms. If they're like terms, you just add the coefficients and keep the variable. Watch, I'll do it again. 3p plus 10p equals. Watch. Add the coefficients. You don't have to write this down every time. I'm just doing it for you. 10 plus 3 is 13. And keep the variable because they're like terms and you're allowed to do that. Okay, and the same thing works with subtraction. Watch. 5x minus 3x equals subtract. 
subtract them. 5 subtract 3 is 2. Keep the variable. Similarly, and I'll do this one, watch. Minus 3p plus 10p equals. Okay? So you can say, whoa, 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 that looks a bit weird. But no, watch. What's minus 3 plus 10? Reverse it in your head. Reverse it in your head. What's 10 take away 3? It's 7. Okay, so we're subtracting. And keep the variable. That's what like term means. It means you treat them as you would in any addition or subtraction, but you just, at the end of it all, once you've done everything you need to do with the coefficients, you just tag on the variable if they are like terms. Okay, so we'll try this again. The beauty of this is you can make any of them up. Okay, so in all of these cases, what we're going to do is... Um, We're going to simplify. And what does simplify means? It means that you start off with some expression that's big, and by using your rules of addition and subtraction and multiplication and all that, you simplify and make it smaller. So here's an example of one. Okay? Let's say 3p plus 6p minus 2p. How would I? simplify that expression. In other words, how would I make it shorter? Well, I make it shorter by figuring out, is there anything there that has like terms? P, P, watch, P, P, P. So all three variables are the same, which means I can just add or subtract the coefficients, the numbers in front of the variables. So let's do that. 3 plus 6 is 9p. Now, I'm doing this in stages, but you can do it all in one go if you're brave. 9 minus 2. So there is your simplified answer. See, it's a lot simpler than what it was up there. Okay? Now, the beauty of this is it also... also works with multiplication and we won't talk about division yet we'll talk about multiplication because this is where it gets really cool okay let's pick two okay two a multiplied by now i'm not going to use the x symbol for multiply okay because i don't want to confuse you okay instead i'm going to use brackets two a multiplied by three Okay, so when there's nothing in between two brackets, it's a multiplication. Okay, similarly, if there's a number in front of a bracket and there's no other symbol, it's a multiplication. Okay, so let's have a look and see what happens here. Our rule so far has been like terms. So let's say it. A, P. So, wait a second, you're, you're going to go. A, right, P. A and P aren't the same. So the rule should be that you do not add them or subtract them. But I'm not asking you to add them and subtract them. What am I asking you to do? I'm asking you to multiply. So when you're multiplying, you don't have to worry about them being alike. And this is the beauty of it. Okay. So what do you do? Well, what's 2 multiplied by? What's 2 multiplied by 3? Well, it's six, isn't it? Now, what's A multiplied by P? Well, I don't know because they're variables. That's the whole point. If I knew that, I'd, I wouldn't have to do this. So if you don't know what to do with them, well, just stick them beside it, beside each other. So 2A by 3P is just 6AP. But what does that actually mean? That means six multiply by a, multiply by p. But we don't write that down, we just go 6ap. So that's what that means. So for example, 3x multiplied by 7y. Again, we're not asking you to add or subtract, so we don't have to worry about like terms. We just multiply the 3 by the 7. 
21. I don't know what X or Y is, so I just stick them beside them. But what that actually means is 21 multiplied by X multiplied by Y, if I knew what X and Y are, which I don't, which is why we're doing algebra. Okay, so that's where it gets really cool at that end of it. So let's try a few of these simplified ones. Okay, I think you'll get them fairly easily. So in all of these cases, we're going to simplify. Okay, simplify. Right, so we start off with some simple ones, no pun intended. So let's try this one. Here's the first one. Second one. Ooh. Third one. R. It's two R. And one more. One more. Okay. Um, let me think. Um, diddly, 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 do. Okay. Right. So I'm going to do a three to one pause. You're going to give it a go. Give it your best rootin' tootin' shot. And we'll get back to it. Three, two, one, go. And we're back. So, hope you got them. So let's have a look at the first one. Let's do our check. I don't see any multiplications to happen here. There's no brackets or anything like that to be multiplied out. So we must be dealing with add and subtract. If we're dealing with add and subtract, that means the like terms rule applies. So I need to say the variables and I can only add the variables that sound exactly the same. X, X, X. They all sound the same. That means I can add or subtract them. So let's add them. How do I add them? I put my x down because I know that's going to be in the answer. And then I just add or subtract the terms. 2 plus 5 minus 3. 2 plus 5 is 7 minus 3. And there is my first answer done. Now, let's try the second one. Check again. I don't see any multiplication or division to be done. This is just addition and subtraction. So the like terms rule applies. Let's say the variables. P, P, X, X, right. I can't add them all together, but I can hear a P and a P. They can be done together. I hear an X and an X. They can be done together. So that must mean I can just add them as two little parcels. So 3P, so that means I'm going to have a P in the answer. 3 plus 4 is 7P. Now, I've got a minus 3 so that means I've an X in the answer. Minus 3 plus 5. What's minus 3 plus 5? In your head, you're thinking that sounds very weird. But reverse it. Put the bigger positive number first. What's 5 subtract 3? It's 2. 2X. Two That's a positive. So now this term is shorter than these two terms. It's simplified. Okay? I Can I check? make it any smaller? Check. Do the variables sound the same? P, X. No, you can't. Next one. Let's try this one. Adding and subtracting. Looks like it. Let's do it. R, P, R, P. Oh, okay. So that means I'm going to add these two and these two. Okay. So let's do it. We have an R and a P in our answer. We just need to figure out the numbers and the signs. 2R minus 3R. So what's 2 minus 3? That's minus R. It's a minus. It's 2 minus 3. That's a negative 1. So it's minus 1R. Minus R. Minus 1P plus 5P. Minus 1 plus 5 is plus 4. That's a tougher one now because of the way it's done. But that is the answer. And our last one. X plus X plus X plus X plus Y. So it looks like I can add them. And then he's on his own. So 1x plus 1x plus 1x plus 1x is 4x. And I only have a y. Right. Very good. Right, we'll try another one. Same thing again, simplify. Oh, 
other one, simplify. Okay, we make these ones a bit harder, so we'll mix these up a little bit. They're Ks. Those two things are Ks. K, M, and K. Okay, number two. Oh, I've thrown in a constant there, just to the fun of it. Oh. Nice. Right, going to give you usual 3, 2, 1 on this one. Okay. Three, two, one, go. And we're back. Right. So this one's a little bit more difficult, I can see. Let's give it a go. 5K. So I have a K, an M, and a K. So the only thing I can add there are the Ks. 5K plus 6K. It's 11K. Is there any other Ms? No. So I'm still stuck with that. Okay, I hope you got that one right. Now, this one. M for mouse, N for nice, N for nice, and a six. So, by my reckoning, there's nothing else with him. There's nothing else for him. But I have two N for nices. Minus four plus five is one. Now, you don't have to put them all in order if you don't want to. You could have had N plus six plus three N. The order doesn't matter. Just whichever suits you. Personally, I like to put them in the order of the alphabet, okay? Letter-wise. Look at this one. 6, X, 5, 2X. The X and the 2X, definitely. But what about the 6 and the 5? They don't have letters, but they are numbers. So if they're numbers, you can just add them. 6 plus 5 is 11. A minus X and a minus 2X. Now, you might want to use a number line on this one. But a ne two negative numbers, you keep the negative sign, but you add the numbers. Okay, hope they got that one right. Now the last one. This looks different. Okay, let's think about this one for a second then. Let's use our rules. First of all, is it multiplication? No. Okay, there's no brackets or anything there to kind of worry about. So it must be add and subtract, which means I look, need to look for like terms. So remember the rule with like terms is, do they sound the same? So here's one. 3AP, 2AP, 5AP. Now, AP, AP, AP. They sound the same. They're not single letters, but they do sound the same. In fact, they look the same and they sound the same. So I wonder, is it possible just to write down AP and then just add the coefficients? 3 plus 2 plus 5 is 10 AP. Now remember, what that, does that really mean? That means 10 multiplied by whatever A is and then multiply by whatever P is. Just like we did in the previous one. So that's a bit of an unusual one. Okay, so the question is, and I suppose this is one that we can try now just to see, is this the same as this. So, this, let's say it, 5xy, 3yx, x, y, y, x. No, they don't sound the same, so they can't be added. Is that true? Well, think about it. What is x? What are you doing here? 5 by x by y. This is 3 by y by x. Aren't they the same thing though, it just in the wrong order? So they can actually be added. So an unusual case, you can add them. Now you'd have to decide which one goes first. I'd always put alphabetically, I'd always put x plus 4y, but because these are really, when you see it there, 
it's really a multiplication. We know that multiplication is communicative. In other words, no matter which way around you put the multiplication, you get the same answer. Because it doesn't make a difference whether you put the X in front of the Y or the Y in front of the X, both of them have to be multiplied. Because of that, they are the same thing. So it's an unusual case. Up until now, nearly every time we do our test for um, like terms, we can just use a verbal test. We can just say it in our head, and if they look the same and sound the same, we can go for it. This is probably the only time we need to actually think about it. Okay, thank you, lads.